Welcome to our Advent uh, week three, um, time as we gather for our Advent reflection. And at this time, I'd like to uh, light our candles. And obviously, I'm relighting Advent candle number one. And we'll be relighting Advent candle number two here. And we'll be lighting Advent candle number three. Now, just a friendly reminder that Advent Candle 1 is of hope, Advent 2 is of love, and Advent 3 is of joy, and Advent 4 is of peace. And with the reason why we have the pink candle in week 3 of Advent is because apparently pink represents joy. And so, anyways, we begin our time together in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Let us pray. Stir up our hearts in wonder, O God. May we wear a mantle of praise as we delight in your gift of salvation. In the name of Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. I would like to read for you now a reading from the prophet Isaiah, the 61st uh, chapter, beginning at the first verse. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me, because the Lord has anointed me. He has sent me to bring good news to the oppressed, to bind up the brokenhearted, to, pro to proclaim liberty to the captives, to release the prisoners, to proclaim the year of the Lord's favor, and the day of vengeance of our God, to comfort all who mourn, to provide for those who mourn in Zion, to give them a garland instead of ashes, the oil of gladness instead of a mourning, the mantle of praise instead of a faint spirit. They will be called oaks of righteousness, the planting of the Lord to display his glory. I will greatly rejoice in the Lord. My, my whole being shall exult in my God, for he has clothed me with garments of salvation. He has covered me with the robe of righteousness as a bridegroom decks himself with a garland and as a bride adorns herself with jewels. For as the earth brings forth its shoots, as, we, as a garden causes what is sown in it to spring up, so the Lord will call, cause righteousness and praise to spring up before all the nations. Here ends our reading. You know, each week we've been focusing on a key word, and this week's word is wonder. And I wonder what the people of Israel were thinking when they heard the prophet um, speak these words. And he speaks them in a very personal way because he's speaking in the first person, if you notice that, where he says, you know, the spirit of the Lord is upon me because the Lord has anointed me. And what the prophet is doing is saying, yeah, this anointing is blessing me for this mission to give you good news that if you're captive, you're free. If you're mourning, no more. And I wonder what the people were thinking when they heard this message of deliverance. I mean, they were even going to experience the whole the year of the Lord's favor, which is the year of jubilee, which only happens once every 50 years. A time when all debt is canceled. <laughs> Wouldn't that be great? All debt canceled. And if you were a slave, you were freed. I wonder how much hope they were given and how much joy that brought to their lives. And then I wonder about each of us. I wonder how we think about how God delivers us. Sometimes we can be captive in our emotions or our thoughts or our perspectives. And that might hold us back and bind us where we can't see things more fully the way God wants us to see things. I wonder 
what deliverance looks like for each of us. And I wonder what it would mean to know for each of us in our lives that our broken hearts will be binded up and liberty will be proclaimed to us. And we would get the year of the Lord's favor and comfort for those of us who mourn and would be, receive the oil of gladness and garland instead of ashes. I mean, all good news. God is opening up everything for the people of Israel and transforming their lives with joy. I wonder how we can receive that deliverance and that joy the prophet Isaiah was talking about. During this third week of Advent, as we wonder what joy can look like in our lives, there's a question I want you to think about. Where will you or each of us look for wonder Look in wonder at God's good news of deliverance. Let me say that again. Where will each of us look in wonder at God's good news and deliverance in our lives? Let us now sing our hymn, Hark the Glad Sound, verses 1 and 4. <laughs> 